Fact number one, the Qur'an never mentions the sexual autonomy of slave girls, who a man may fuck by dint of them being his property. Fact number two, a verse in the Qur'an was revealed to justify Muhammad's men raping the captured wives of their enemies. Unless you want to pretend that women taken from their homes and captured in war enjoy having sex with their captors. This proves that slave girls have no sexual autonomy from their masters in Islam, or at least according to the Qur'an. Fact number three. According to the Qur'an, a man may fuck his wife in any way he pleases. No thought is given for the wife's sexual autonomy. This is made clearer in the Hadith literature, where we are told that a wife has no sexual autonomy from her husband and will face God's wrath if she refuses his sexual advances. Fact number four. According to the majority of traditional Muslim scholars, as represented in the schools of fiqh, marital rape is an oxymoron and is therefore allowed. The Hanafi school even openly endorses the practice. Fact number five. Marital rape is acceptable in the following Muslim countries. Morocco, Algeria, Mali, Nigeria, Libya, Sudan, Egypt, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, Kuwait, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Brunei. If Islam forbade marital rape, you'd expect modern Muslim nations to also prohibit the crime. Instead, the overwhelming majority allow it, as indeed does Islam. Consequently, I think that it is accurate to say that Islam, Sunni Islam generally speaking, allows certain forms of rape. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and check out all my social media.